Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Pliance Park. Thanks for joining us today. It's a really big day. Uh, I'm Chip Blankenship, President and CEO of GE Appliances. And I just want to make you feel welcome. Uh, we've got three big things going on today. Uh, we had some tours this morning and we're, uh, we're jumping into the second part, uh, which is our Workforce Development Day. Uh, this, this part is going to be uh, talking about a, a donation and the next part is going to be a summit where uh, the community and employers get together and talk about uh, how we continue to develop a competitive workforce in Louisville and make Louisville a destination uh, for manufacturers. I'd like to share with you some recent history. In Louisville alone, over the last five years, GE Appliances has invested over a billion dollars and we've hired more than 3,000 people. 3,000 jobs for the community. We're not the only company in Greater Louisville that is expanding manufacturing operations. Manufacturers of all types and sizes are growing in this region. On the surface, we'd say that all this growth is fantastic, but for those of us in the industry, the growth has brought major challenges. One of the most significant is the lack of qualified applicants to fill the demand for manufacturing jobs. This is across the entire skills spectrum, from entry level operators on assembly lines, to uh, equipment operators, to single skilled trades, and to multi skilled trades. I don't think it's overstating the situation to say that we are in a crisis. Manufacturers are competing for the same shrinking pool of applicants here, and, and that's not the situation that we want. And many of the pool of applicants are unprepared to be successful in a manufacturing environment, and perhaps unaware of the career opportunities that we have for them, so they seek other employment. Developing a more skilled and qualified workforce and raising the profile of manufacturing in our community as well as nationally is something I'm very passionate about. Along with many in the room today, GE Appliances is committed to putting the necessary focus and resources in place to ensure our community can thrive in this manufacturing renaissance that is before us. Later today, we'll host a summit of leaders from business, government, education, nonprofits, and others to work together to find ways to solve this crisis. It is critical that we work together to address one of the largest challenges facing manufacturers today. That's why we're hosting this special day and why we've been working on a national and local level for several years on this cause. We have a full agenda and we have great news to share with two of our local school districts. But before we get to that, I want to acknowledge a few of our distinguished guests, some of whom will join me at the podium shortly. First of all, Paul Perkins, president of Amatrol, wave to the crowd please, thanks, who along with GE Appliances and Amatrol authorized distributor technical training aides is making the contribution we'll be announcing shortly. We have Louisville Mayor Greg Fisher with us today, Greg. Bullitt County Judge Executive Melanie Roberts. Jefferson County Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Donna Hargens, Bullitt County Superintendent Keith Davis, welcome Keith. I would also like to recognize several other distinguished guests with us today. Please stand when I introduce you. The rest of the team from Amatrol and Technical Training, welcome guys. Principal of Bullitt County Area Technical Training Center, Angela Binkley and Director of their College Career and Innovation Program, Christy Coulter. Welcome. President of Bullock County Chamber, Don, Dan Klein, and Executive Director, Alex Wimsett. Welcome. John Snyder, Executive Director of Bullock County Economic Development Authority. David Horseman of the Kentucky Department of Career and Technical Education. Dr. Gwyn Joseph, Interim President of Jefferson Community and Technical College, our partner in the AMT program. There. Welcome. Uh, we have Dana Crittenden, President IUE Local 761, 
Dana, thanks for being with us today. Our greater, greater Louisville, Kentucky fame business partners, including Tom Hudson, CEO, President of Enthworks and Chapter President, as well as Rena Sharp, VP of Operations at Westport Axel and Chapter Vice President. Thanks for joining us, Rena. I've saved the best for last. The reason why we're all here in this room today, the students and teachers in the room from Jefferson Town High School and Bullock County Public Schools. Stand if you're not standing and wave. All the students, teachers. Thanks, gang. Thank you so much. In our first advanced manufacturing technician class, as we call them AMT, enrolled at JCTC and working for seven sponsoring employers from Greater Louisville, Kentucky fame. How about our fame class? Awesome. Now let's get on with today's big news, the donation we're making to Jefferson Town High School and to Bullitt County Public Schools. GE Appliances, Amatrol, and Amatrol's authorized distributor technical training aides are donating nearly $150,000 in equipment, curriculum, and training so these schools can grow their programs in manufacturing training and education and help us grow the pipeline of talent building manufacturing careers in the future. I'm Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. That's, that's an amen from the mayor. Thank you. <laughs> I mentioned the AMT students in the room. We kicked off this first class just last August and have 16 students from high schools in seven districts in our region. The AMTs work for three days a week at their sponsoring employer and go to school two days a week. When they complete the program in two years, they'll have earned an associate's degree in industrial maintenance technology and they'll have almost 2,000 hours of invaluable on-the-job training and potentially ex exit the program with little to no uh, debt from education. They'll also be on a path to a career as a maintenance tech, one of our greatest needs here at Appliance Park, where they can choose to continue their education in engineering. The program's going extremely well. We want to take on even more students and sponsored by more employers. But the students must have good training and awareness uh, to be accepted into the AMT program. Bullitt and Jefferson Town already are doing a great job delivering well-trained students who want to build a career in manufacturing. With this donation, we want to help them do even better. Although Bullitt does not even have an advanced manufacturing program, seven of its students are participating in the AMT. We thought if they could do that, well, without any equipment or any, any program, we would certainly uh, be well suited to invest in their, in their program and starting their program for the future. Three AMT program students are from Jefferson County Public Schools, including two from J-Town. J-Town already has a robust manufacturing program with extensive equipment. The contribution we're making today is for a piece of training equipment from their wish list, which will help them expand even further the type of equipment their students can learn about and train on. We're thrilled to be helping these schools develop the manufacturers of the future and we'll unveil the checks to each school. But before we do, we'll hear a few from our special guests. First, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome our partner in this donation, the president of Amatrol, Paul Perkins. Paul. Well, I have to say, I'm so pleased to be here today as part of our partnership with General Electric and the Louisville community to address an issue that's really important to us. And, and I have to say, I love being here because it brings back so many fond memories of in my 20s when I was a young engineer, I've worked as a contractor here in so many of the buildings and uh, have uh, lots of interesting stories to tell about projects that I've worked on here at, at GE. But you know, the challenge of finding skilled workers is a problem that's affecting every manufacturing company today, both large and small. Not only GE can talk about their challenges, but our company went through those same challenges this year, uh, hiring the, the largest number of people we've ever hired in company history as our, our business uh, took a, a major jump uh, forward. And it's a challenge that's actually being experienced not only by companies here in Louisville, but also companies nationally and even globally. And we know this because Amatrol's main business is, for over 35 years has been manufacturing 
training equipment and interactive multimedia software for teaching manufacturing skills, which we provide to schools and companies all over the United States and in 40 foreign countries. And judging by the high demand uh, for products in recent years, I can tell you that every other community is having the same problems that, that we are. Uh, there just isn't a large pool of workers out there in some other community that we could ship here to solve our problem. And the only sustainable solution that is out there is we have to grow our own. The irony of the situation is, is that the manufacturing careers that we have are, are fantastic jobs. Uh, they pay well, uh, they have tremendous advancement opportunities, uh, you get to work with some fascinating uh, technologies and things are always changing and it's just, it's a job that I don't find people getting bored very often with. And I've worked in manufacturing all my life and I love it. Uh, yeah, I just, I love the teamwork, I love uh, the excitement of coming up with a product design and seeing it actually manufactured and probably most importantly is seeing it being used by our customers and knowing that we made that. And, and there's just a tremendous pride that I think you get out of working in the manufacturing industry. We just need to tell our story and I think we have to build uh, the pipelines that engage our youth in, in some of these great opportunities. But I'm, I'm really encouraged today by the fact that we have, I think, some tremendous efforts going on here in Louisville. There's a collaboration that's taking shape here that I think is, is going to really make a difference in our community and it's going to make us a, a national leader. Uh, we have some great local elected officials that are extremely engaged uh, and passionate about this area. We have uh, some great community colleges uh, in the area, school corporations, uh, workforce development board, and we have some great companies like GE. And it gives me the hope that I think we have all the ingredients to be very successful. And I'm really pleased to be a part of this effort. Thank you. Next, I'd like to invite up the mayor, a uh, great supporter of manufacturing in the community. Thank you, Chip, and uh, I think everybody should know that we've got a great national leader in Chip Blankenship here. Uh, for the National Association of Manufacturing, he is their workforce development point person. So much of what we're seeing unfold in the community comes from national best practices. So in addition to that, you wrote a great op-ed in the Career Journal this morning. Thanks, so Greg. thank you just for your leadership. Okay, good job. So I'm just going to speak a little bit to the students. Uh, I know at this point in your all's life, you might feel like you got a whole lot riding on what your next decision is. Uh, in the next, uh, what, six months or seven months or so, you guys will be cutting the ties from high school and out you go into the real world. So one of the things that you want to know is you want to have options, right? Let's say you've got to have options. And what you're seeing here today is one of the options that you have. And, and you very well could change your mind uh, throughout your life. When One of the first jobs I took to put myself through school was tarring roofs, being a roofer. That's not a good career choice uh, for you. Uh, I was a crane operator, uh, and that helped for me to pay for my schooling. And then I spent most of my career uh, 30 year business career in manufacturing. A place a little bit smaller than this, but manufacturing really has uh, been my seed corn and what really enabled me to get to the point that I'm at in my life right now. But the important thing I think for you all as students is to be looking forward and saying, what are my options? And so congratulations on being here today to be informed about what one of your options can be in manufacturing. You know, don't think about manufacturing as just putting stuff together. It's engineering, it's technology, it's material science, it's, it's all these stuff. Manufacturing is what runs the world, really. And it is one of the hottest fields, not just here in the country right now, but all over the world as well. And in the 21st century, it's really important uh, that you understand that. But most importantly, for whatever you decide to do, understand that it's all about lifelong learning. How are you going to make sure that you're doing that right now in high school, but when that's over, it's going to continue whether or not you're going to go to speed school, like this one young man told me over here today, or you're going to become an AMT, like our leaders are back here. But this, this notion that every day I've got to learn something, I've got to be more cross-functional. When you, let's say, work on a line here, you've got to say, I've got to know the four jobs in front of me and the four jobs in back of me. And that way you can be competitive not only in the workplace, but your company will be competitive globally at the same time. And that's what it's about in today's world, and we're living in a global economy, so you've got to be thinking, how can I be the best in the world? 
In Louisville here, we've got a lot of options when it comes to manufacturing. GE, of course, is a tremendous uh, leader and has been for decades. Uh, Ford is as well with their uh, two plants here, Brown Foreman, Louisville Slugger, Renus here from Westport Axel, Universal Woods, DuPont. You've got a lot of choices and a lot of different types of manufacturing right now. And when you think about options, you've got to look at numbers and say, when I take a career path, are there going to be jobs? So one of the things that's so wonderful about manufacturing is that there's about 77,000 jobs in our city right now and in our region, and that will be growing over the coming years. So you're entering a field where there's a lot of options for you, whatever point you decide to enter. And if you decide to keep learning, really, there's no, uh, no limit toward what you can do. So what we've done uh, as Metro government is we try to create platforms so you all can be successful with what you decide to do. Uh, Chip talked about the FAME program, and thank you and all the other manufacturing leaders that put that together so we can make sure that we have a more prepared workforce. Kentuckiana Works is here with us today, and they're all about getting our workforce developed so we can be competitive in the global economy at the same time. That's important that we're doing that because we know if we can have good trained people, we will be competitive as a city and we will be attracting jobs. And so that leaves it up to you guys to get ready and get after it. I've got full confidence in you and talking to you today. I've got some bright folks here today, and you'd be well blessed to get them. So the truth is, our future's up to you all. You know, I remember saying, I feel like I'm still young, but I'm not as young as you guys. But, our, but really, the truth, is, uh, the, the truth is, the future's all up to you guys. The big message for today is that advanced manufacturing provides you all with a lot of great opportunities to have a career and a good life and stay in your hometown. We need you guys to make us the great city that we are. So thanks to the students for being here today and good luck here with the career in manufacturing. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Fisher. Now please joining me in welcoming Bullitt County Judge Executive Melanie Roberts to say a few words. Melanie. Thank you, Chair. Thank you all. In Bullitt County, we are committed to workforce development and to a strong workforce. As the mayor said, it's about our students. Our students are our future. And with Bullitt County just being south of Louisville, it's about our region. And it's also about our state. And I must say, it's about our country. So young people, like the mayor said, we used to be as young as you are now. You are our future. Take it and run with it. You've got tons of opportunities. And I'm so thankful that you all are here and want to do something with your lives. I can't leave the podium without thanking Chip and Paul for your donations. This donation to our Area Technology Center will help us tremendously. And our students from Bullitt County are so thankful for that. I also want to thank our Bullitt County Public School Superintendent, Keith Davis, our College, Career, and Innovative Director, Christy Coulter. And I want to thank our Area Technology Center Principal, Angela Binkley. I cannot leave this podium without thanking Donna Miller, who is the director of our community college, and of course, Michael Gritton with Kentuckiana Works, because you see all those folks believe in education. And as a former school teacher myself of 20 years in Bullock County at Cedar Grove Elementary School, and I see some of my students back there, I know how important education is. And these folks know how important it is to thank you all. And I certainly want to thank Rena Sharp, who served as executive director or executive chairman of the Kentucky Anna Works Board. She's a Bullock Countyan, so I have to praise her. She currently serves as the chair of the employer advisory group for the Kentucky Manufacturer Career Center. Let me do that right the Kentucky Career and Manufacturing Center. And as was already stated, she was appointed the Vice President of the Kentucky Chapter of the Greater Louisville Chapter of Kentucky Fame. Did I do that right? Yep, that's it. Okay, and we have to say this again. 
the nine out of the 19 students that received the FAME scholarships were Bullitt County students. Rena has extraordinary vision and she has excellent leadership in strengthening the bond between the local, state, and federal governments with the Bullock County Public School System and with our business and businesses and industries, the Chamber of Commerce, I know Alex Wimsett is here, John Snyder, our Economic Development Agency Director, we have to continue to strengthen those bonds amongst us and like Michael was saying earlier, continue on the path. Let's all continue on the same path, going in the same direction, so that we are achieving excellent results. So again, thank you, Chip and Paul, for your incredible donation to Bullock County. And let me say this to all the women, all the girls that are out there. Ladies, I'm the first woman judge executive in Bullock County. So ladies, take the American dream, run with it. You can do anything you want to do if you work hard enough. Thank you, Chip and Paul. Right on, Melanie, that's a great, that's a great message. You know, this General Electric company uh, has always been, uh, has always believed that success in business is about people. And we invest in our people, we develop our people. Uh, many of our leaders spend half of their time focused on helping our people grow. And what we're doing here is trying to extend that reach, trying to extend that and make investments both monetarily and with our time uh, to help our community grow, but also in a somewhat selfish manner help prepare folks to enter GE careers. So uh, this is about people today, and we're gonna get on to the, the great business of handing out checks. <laughs> First, the JCPS. I'd like Dr. Hargens, Principal Kingsley, and Mayor Fisher to come up and join me and Paul for the check presentation. Thank you, Chip. Uh, thank you, Chip and Paul. On behalf of the Jefferson County Public Ed Education Foundation and Jefferson Town High School, we are grateful for the donation of a hydraulics troubleshooting training unit from GE and the install installation and training for this advanced manufacturing training equipment from Amatrol. Jefferson Town High School is one of our five star high schools. We are so proud of the work at Jefferson Town High School. And I'm proud of the mayor because the mayor has envisioned in Louisville a cradle to career pipeline in which we are producing the workforce for this Commonwealth. A JCPS five star offers courses in one of five professional career themed programs and provides advanced career and college preparation for students. The courses in a five star program go far beyond lectures. Students participate in hands-on, real-world projects, both in and out of the classroom. Students enrolled in J-Town's career theme program in the Build and Design Academies, including these amazing students that are with us here today, have the opportunity to develop problem-solving skills and master a range of tools and technologies in the engineering, manufacturing, and construction fields. Today, we celebrate GE and Amatrol as important partners with JCPS ensuring, in ensuring that our students can gain the academic, practical, and other critical skills they need to complete, compete for jobs in the 21st century. In Kentucky, which I'm proud to call my home, 
That manufacturing industry is home to more than 2,400 manufacturing facilities, which contributed more than $36 billion to Kentucky's economy last year. And it produced approximately 235,000 jobs. Thanks to the donations announced today, J-Town students will actually learn how to diagnose and fix problems in hydraulic systems. Their teachers can insert faults in the system and teach the students how to identify and correct them. That is real world cutting edge experience. Moreover, this is the kind of opportunity that motivates students and gets them engaged in the studying and planning necessary to ensure a future career in a job that challenges and excites them. The students here today are going to experience some really great things on the tours, including the GE Innovation Labs. I call it the power of experience. High school students do not get this opportunity every day. Watching and engaging with people who are doing on a day-to-day -day basis what they might want to do as a career is an incredible opportunity. So thank you again to GE and Amitral, and congratulations to Jefferson Town High School and Principal Matt Kingsley. Thank you.